Hey guys, it's Nick again. Welcome back to week two of the Ultimate Strumming Guide. That's, I keep doing that, it's four. Week two of the Ultimate Strumming Guide. If you haven't checked out the first episode, you might want to do that one first because I start talking about different picks and why having a good pick is really, really critical to you, especially when you're learning how to play guitar because the wrong one, even though you can use what you have, the wrong one might not be the best thing for you to learn. So you might want to check that video out first. Today we're going to talk about basic picking. Upstrokes, downstrokes, where your arm should be, how your wrist should be placed, where you position them, and a lot of good things for you to practice. So let's go take a look. So some of the first things we want to talk about are different um, patterns. What do you do with this pick? Now you have it in your hand. First of all, the grip on it. You don't want it too tight. You don't want it too loose. You want it kind of in your hand, kind of like yeah, I talked about this before, kind of like a pencil. You want to have it kind of close to the tip because it's hard to control it if your hand's too far away from it and you don't have to hold it as much to keep control of it. Once again, if you're tuned to regular pitch, you're going to be uh, in a different tuning than me because I'm tuned down a half a step. So don't pay attention to the chord and making sure that it sounds the same as mine. Just look at the picking pattern that you're doing. Take this G chord, strum it all the way down once from the top. As you can see, my hand's pretty close to the strings, like I'm almost resting. Matter of fact, a lot of times I do rest my hand on here. And sometimes, depending on what I'm playing, I actually have a resting here. Keep your wrist pretty loose, your hand pretty loose. Now when you're strumming down, you're probably gonna angle it a little bit this way. I'm over exaggerating it, but a little bit this way. You don't wanna keep it like straight like that because you don't wanna hold it stiff. It's like that, it's not gonna sound good, it's not gonna feel good, and you're not gonna play too good. Just let it go. Just be easy with it. You can see my hand the way I'm the way it kind of like took curves down when I'm doing it. There's your downstroke, upstroke. You can see my angle change. My hand's really, really loose. In fact, my hand's just barely tight enough to not let this drop out of my hand. Most of the strumming motion is going to come from your wrist. Strumming is when you take a lot of string at the same time and you do them in one stroke. And it's usually a pattern. Picking is kind of when you just, uh, it's kind of the same thing, but when you just do one string at a time. So if I want to do the same thing with just one string, I'll just go. See, it's pretty similar. Similarly for the angle, you don't necessarily need to be perfectly flat this way. Uh, what I do is I actually angle it a little bit this way. Not so it's too scratchy sounding, but just so it's angled a little bit, it makes the pick slide a little bit more smoothly to the strings. And try different things. Hold it a little bit stiffer. Hold it a little bit lighter. Hold it somewhere in the middle. So for the next week, take uh, 10 minutes, strum up and down. Do it four times during the first week. Next week, we'll have even more stuff for you to practice. But for right now, just basic up and down. Try to get it nice and smooth and really comfortable. Well, that was a lot of cool stuff to learn for week two of the Ultimate Strumming Guide. Let me know what you thought in the comments. If there's anything particular you'd like me to cover in the next few weeks, I do have two more shows recorded, but then I'm gonna keep adding on to them if I get more comments because there's lots of different things I can cover. Don't forget to do the homework, and I'll see you next week. Rock and roll.